Hey guys, welcome back to Stella Rhythm. Today we are talking about, oh, before I get started, Shaw's in the background, he is watching some tunes, so you might hear him. <laughs> but um, today we're talking about the moon in Leo, and with the moon in Leo, so let's get into it. Um, well, the moon in Leo, well, first of all, we are in a wax and gibbous phase, so we are focusing on refining and tweaking and altering, making adjustments and figuring out what needs to be released, what needs to, um, what needs to, what we need to fall back on a little bit to kind of let it take its time to do its own thing. Um, to also see what it is that needs to be added, you know, so releasing, adding, um, patience, that is a lot of this because we're about to come into this full moon phase in, in Virgo, so things are about to start manifesting, and with the moon in Leo, this is about creativity, you know, this is about, um, how it is that you express yourself, how it is that we're connecting to our inner child and really allowing that to express ourselves. You know, Leo is that light. It's ruled by the sun. It brings that warmth and that generosity. You know, I always say that they have the, that I feel like the 12 days or Christmas in July was inspired because that begins Leo season. You know, Leo is the giver. It is the giver of gifts. It's very open-hearted, very generous, and just very honest in that. It's not, um, it's not much manipulation when it comes to Leo. They are very grounded in who it is that they are, very confident. So in that, they like to share that with others. They like people to feel good the way that they feel good. They like people to look good the way that they look good, you know, because Leo is all about the hair, all about their looks, how it is that they're showing up and how people view them. They love to be seen, but people love to see them too. You know, it, is, it goes hand in hand, really. Um, but with this moon in Leo, we might be feeling very exuberant, you know, very lively, very passionate about the things it is that we desire, what we want in our lives, what it is that we believe ourselves to need. You know, we may also um, be feeling very confident. There are a couple of aspects that may negate this confidence, but we'll get into it and kind of talk about and get and see how it is that we can better show it for ourselves in order to move through that, you know? So we may be feeling a little bit more independent than usual, not really worried about doing things with the group or, you know, connecting with with other people in order to make things happen because Leo is very much so. She's like that. Well, Leo is a, a masculine, on the masculine pole of energy. But, um... I'm sorry, you guys, one second. So, um, Leo is on the masculine pole of, of energetic when it comes to the feminine and masculine polarity, right? So, it is more action-oriented, and the Queen of Wands represents Leo because, you know, she follows her intuition. She listens to what she is inspired to and goes out and makes it happen. She allows these things to to come from within in order for her to manifest, in order for her to create and make, you know, she's very concerned with her reputation. So she does not show up any less than Leo is also a fixed sign and fixed signs are kind of like the royalty of the the zodiac you know because they give the orders they like this is how this is this goes they're unchangeable they when they're going one way about something then that is it that is you know it takes a lot of i don't want to say um not convincing but the facts must be there in order for leo to be like oh okay well I was wrong, so let's see it this way. Let's do it this way, you know? So we may also be feeling a lot more artsy, ready to create, ready to, you know, whatever kind of creative venture it is that we're in, however it is that we are choosing and desiring 
to be seen, you know, by others. It's all about really how it is that we project our energy outwardly, you know, it is because Leo is very image focused. So with the moon being in Leo, we may be feeling very connected to our families. Leo moons love, they love connecting to family because they like to be in areas that are familiar with them. So they can kind of be in control, you know, with that fixed energy. They like things to, to go in the way in which it is that they desire them to go for them to see fit, you know, and they really enjoy having honorable relationships. Um... And that basically means where everyone involved is being honored, where everyone involved is being seen, where that confidence, where that ego is feeling exalted, really, you know? So <clears throat> that is just a little bit about that. Now, on the more, I guess you could say negative side or less than desirable attributes of this um there may be some some selfishness going on with the whole wanting to do things on the own on our own you know really wanting to be in this independent space um people may be people may be coming off pretty fat. People may be coming off bossy or overbearing, you know, trying to push their agendas. Um, or, you know, people may be coming off controlling in a sense, um, in attempt to make things happen the way it is that they see fit. Again, that fixed energy, liking to be in control of things and wanting things to go one specific way, you know, but... At the same time, Leo is aware that it can create its reality in whichever way it needs to. So I'm not going to say it's not, it's open to, that it's not open to change. It's open to getting to that end goal of what it is that they want. That's what's unchangeable, you know? So, um... We have some tense energy between Venus and Uranus. So, but this can also be an energy of growth. We could be seeing our growth, um, how it is that we have been relating to people, you know, our confidence in relating, our confidence in, our confidence in, um, We could be recognizing where it is that we have grown in when it comes to uh, attaining the desires, when it comes to how it is that um, the pleasures and um, the things it is that we wish to attain in our life, you know, um, when it, maybe when it comes to making money or just in our our self-love, we may be feeling more confident within ourselves because our self-love, our self, we're, we are now recognizing our worth, our what it is that we value and aligning with these things, you know. Um, on the other hand, this can be showing up as a conflict or, um, or some healing that needs to be done in order to move into uh, attaining the possessions, attaining that self-value, that self-worth, that self-confidence, that self-esteem it is that we need to uh, kind of embody that Leo that Leo nine, that lion confident energy, that strength, you know, we may be needing to tap into our strength in order to see ourselves, you know, feeling safe and being seen and who it is that we are, you know, and this can cause for call for change. We can also be finding support through our friendships, you know, and through the people it is that we connect with and supporting us and feeling more confident within ourselves, feeling more confident in reaching our learn long term goals and um and manifesting our desires, you know, and getting sure on where it is that where and what it is that we want, how it is that we need to further express ourselves or this energy could be triggering us to show more up in a more playful, more fun, joyful type of way because Leo loves to have fun. It loves to have a good time and for everyone else to be having a good time too, you know? Um, we may need to pause a little bit and um, take our time and not be so quick to act, 
you know, with the Leo energy based off of a need to integrate and recognize what's coming up for us, you know, so we may be dealing with some shadow energy surrounding, um, surrounding things within our family, but when it comes to how it is that we relate to ourselves, you know, and how these things are tied in. But this can also be in relation to our goals, our learned our long term goals. We mean we may be finding ourselves needing to be more gentle with ourselves as we process these things and not not being that very overbearing Leo that is like, well, you did this and you did that and this is how, but doing this to ourselves. Right. And this can be doing it to another or someone else doing this to us, but choosing to show up in a space of gentleness, you know, but also tapping in and listening to really what it is that is going on. Because with Uranus and Venus involved, this is our intuition. This is this is higher energy coming in and showing us like, hey, like you are worthy. You are valuable. What you've been doing up till now, it has to been good. Even if it hasn't been looking good from however, you know, it, it is serving you moving forward so that you can move into this very confident space of being comfortable and being seen and, and cultivating this reputation, you know, that you have been desiring to stand in, you know, and in that allowing you to attract the things it is being receptive because Taurus and Venus is all about being receptive and being open to allowing, you know, and whereas Leo is more, I'm going to go after this. Okay. I see I'm inspired. I'm going to create this. Whereas Taurus is like, okay, I know I can do this. I know I can build this, but I'm going to take the slow and easy way. And I'm allow the things it is that I need to come to me. So things may be showing up to where it is that we've been blocking ourselves from this allowance, from tapping into a more passive way of being, um, tapping into more um, a way of more so listening to ourselves and hearing what it is that God, that God is, is telling us, the steps it is that we need to be taking for our direction for our, us to meet our goals, our, our long-term, the long-term stability, stability it is that we are desiring because Leo wants, wants stability. It wants, Leo is a pure and true love. It is of the heart, you know, it, and it is unwavering until it isn't. And it takes a lot for it to waver, you know? So, and, and with, um, with Taurus energy, this is a lot about also uh, choosing to not be manipulative and trying to attain any of these things. It allowing things to happen naturally and effortless, and finding the enjoyment in in attainment in in the game, you know, enjoying the moment where it is that we are, you know, this is kind of this lesson it is that we're being offered here. And if we are already there, recognizing how it is that the ways that we could have been easier on ourselves, what we did too much, not necessarily did too much, but did things in a way that was stressful, you know, that weren't, give me the words, that weren't pleasurable, you know, that weren't pleasurable, that weren't enjoyable, that, that created a stressful state of being by not seeing that, that we're doing the best that we can with what it is that we have. And when we learn more, we will do that too, you know? So then we also have, um, a little bit of a stressful energy with Chiron. I'm sorry. No, Actually, Chiron, they are in a harmonious energy. So um, with the stressful energy, this comes in and shows us like, okay, here's how you love yourself. Here is where you step into your confidence. Here is where you can find the courage, the strength, the will to initiate the action it is that you need to take. You know, all the lessons that you have learned are here. 
they've showed you you have the wisdom now you can move forward and allow this to support you in this growth that is happening in this um attaining the the attaining the the gathering the you know the having and feeling valuable in that feeling worthy in that not allowing these old perceptions of ourselves uh based on opinions of others you know um based on how it is that we've shown up in the past to alter where it is that we are and where it is that we're going you know so um just being very honest and and truthful about where it is that we are so that we can move forward with what it is that we now know you know so that it can support us in coming out of these conflicts the this anxiety this state of anxiety of um not having our our desires met our wants met um or our needs met even if that is something that has been an issue for us you know so not you know and just really releasing the the shame and the guilt surrounding desiring anything doesn't matter what it is that you've been desiring and right now it's about um a lot about desiring to be seen a lot about desiring to have love in your life to have romance in your life to have fun in your life you know to love just to be loving you know to give just to be giving because that is what makes you feel good because that is that is a language that speaks to your heart and supports you in um in being able to show up in the way in which it is that you want to show up and be seen in the way in which it is that you want to be seen you know very cultivating that self image it is <laughs> that you want to be seen in and projecting that through confidence you know through having a healthy sense of ego you know and allowing that to serve you in moving forward and being determined and showing up in general you know and this can even speak to when it comes to your body image and to your health with aries being involved in that having to do with this this can even even have something to do with how it is that you look in general your face um whatever it is that you or maybe even your hair right because that is all the first house aries energy very focused on that and uh, coming into the space it is that you desire to be in to be seen in right because this leo energy is all about being seen and what it is that you are willing because leo is about the will to do you know so then we have um we're being asked to merge ourselves. So everything it is that we've been moving towards, been cultivating this Capricorn energy, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, you know, and um, whatever successes, whatever achievements, whatever type of public image, these things kind of go together, you know, uh, bringing in that confidence, al allowing your will to move forward, bringing forth that create creativity to this so that you can really find the resolute you know and really tap into um things looking the way you know it is what what type of um art and when i say art this can be music this can be um paint images this can be all, all the ways that art manifests itself, okay? Whatever way that may seem, we're being asked to integrate this so that um, we cannot, we can stop trying to separate our success from our creative self, from our confidence, from our what brings us joy, you know, what feels good to us. Leo um, is also about relating, relationships, romance, sex. So maybe we're trying to find success in, in that, with, especially with Mars being involved, with Jupiter being involved. It's like 
Are your beliefs aligning to this? You know, are the steps that you're taking aligning to this? Um, are you taking the time to transform yourself in the ways in which it is that you desire in order to align with this? Like what, what type of romantic relationships, what type of loyalty are you going to stand in for yourself as an individual so that you can cultivate, you know, and you know, maybe there are some teachings that you have gained over this time that need to also come into play now that, or maybe it's time for you to um, align yourself with the teachers that you need in order um, to help build up your confidence, right? Um, or maybe you need to teach, <laughs> and be confident in teaching, you know, or maybe there is a spiritual practice that you need to start implementing, or maybe you sh should go talk to a therapist to help you bring these things together, to help you get out of your own way, to help you do the shadow work that needs to be done so that you can transform, so that you can release the karma, so that you can be committed, you know, so that you can move, allow the blockages, the delays and everything to get out the way so that you can learn what it is that you need to learn so that you can do the work. Capricorn wants the work done. It wants the effort. It wants the leg work, the man hours. There is no magic that can be done to bypass Capricorn and Saturn energy, you know, because it's all about the effort. Like you give me this and I'll give you great, you know? So that is a lot. That is what this um, this integration is asking of us and it's about being confident about the through going forward in this and just being okay with what it is that you desire, being truthful and honest with yourself again about what it is that you want and being okay with that. And, but at the same time, being loyal to those who are tied to you in attaining these things. So how do you make that happen for yourself? What does, what does that look like for you? Um, <clears throat> is that possible for you? And if that is not, then what do you, where do you go from there, right? So then we're also being asked to merge ourselves with the healing that needs to take place in order for this confidence to come about, for us to tap into our willpower to manifest, to, for us to tap into our creativity, you know, to listen to our dreams, to focus on our ideals and to go within, to tap into our imagination, to bring these two things together so that we can really fulfill the efforts, you know, so that we can really show up in that. Maybe, um, maybe all the ways, all the, the beautiful ways in which it is that we've wanted to accentuate ourselves in whatever way that may be a haircut, a new hairstyle, some makeup, some new clothes, anything like that. Maybe it's time to merge that so that you can step into that self-image it is that you desire in order for you to be seen in this confident way that you want to be seen, you know? Um, but this is also about bringing forth, okay, so with Leo, it can be kind of selfish, very I am-ish, I will, I, 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 right? So with um, this Pisces energy, because it's asking us to merge this Sun and Neptune energy that is in Pisces. So this is about first moving through the illusions um, of grandeur that Leo can bring, but also Pisces and coming back down to reality and seeing what is practically possible, right? And with us about to move into this Virgo full moon, that's going to become more clear or it, we're going to be able to take action on that once all things start to align, right? Because we'll talk about that in the Virgo video, but we need to tap into that unconditional love for ourselves, for others, you know, how it is that um, <laughs> for those that are for those that um, are in our sphere and how it is that we kind of benefit from one another, how it is that they can help and we can help each other, you know, and being compassionate 
to yourself as well, but also to those around you and um, helping them in their healing process and moving forward in their self-confidence, you know, but also yours. Um, this can also speak of tapping into this genuine energy of the heart and our personal genius, but also recognizing what it is that we need to let go of in order to really um, come into all of this. What needs to be sacrificed? What are we holding on to that continues to hold us back from, from what's real, what is possible, what can be done, what will happen? You know, where, where do those blockages lie in allowing that energy, these energies to come together you know, allowing the that love of self, <laughs> that love of others that is kind of in a way like this is how I want to show up. So um, and I love you and this is what I'm giving to you. So you need to accept it with the unconditional love of I love you for who it is that you are. You know, I love you for showing up. I love you for being here, unconditional, you know? You know, so how is it that um, basically what is it that you have been not tapping into within your imagination that is gonna serve you in creating and attaining this grand success it is that you desire this stability and security because just as much as um as as the moon security so does leo it likes things to be stable it likes things it likes to know what it has and when it's coming in and all the ways that it's going to come in so that is this moon energy from the third to the sixth, from the sixth to the eighth, and um, on the ninth, we will be having a Virgo full moon, so I don't know if I'm going to make a, a video for that. I think, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to figure it out over the next couple of days, over the next day or so, if I'm going to either go live or and do like card readings for you guys or what. I don't know yet, but um, I will make a post about it, and depending on, if it's just going to be a stellar rhythm, then there will be no post. But if I do go live, <clears throat> you guys will know, so that you can be there if you would like to. So I'm going to pull a couple cards. Thank you. Yes, this is God's angels or reaches. All the blessings for all the grace, all the guidance, and all the love that you place in our lives. Please give us some insight, guidance, and support over these next two days of the moon in Leo. What is it that you would like for us to know? What is it that you would like for us to do with this? That should be. So it's definitely time for us to stop shrinking ourselves, stop not showing up, you know, <clears throat> to it really that confidence and not allowing people who around us who are not there yet to not, not show up. You don't have to fit in. We don't have to fit in, you know. It's time for us to just kind of do our own thing, you know, however it is that they may look. That may be people involved, sure, but it's a it's a necessary to be confident in that and really move forward in these things. Yeah. So there are though there are people around us who support us in doing this, you know, who support us in making these things happen and support us in our confident state of being. 
in shining. Leo likes to shine and it likes to shine its light on others. So they can shine. That's one thing. Um, I don't know. I said this before that people... People think Leo's like attention, but no, Leo's just get attention. They they are seen. They don't it's sure they like the attention, but they didn't seek it. They uh, they gained it, they got it, and they recognize, oh I love this. <laughs> like, let me keep doing whatever it is I'm doing so that you guys can keep seeing me. Cause that feeds them, like the sun <laughs> the sun you gotta wear you don't you gotta wear glasses in the sun for a reason all right so yes we wear shades around the sun for a reason the sun is not going away unless the clouds come through and that's that melancholy energy that um leo can be in when it doesn't get its way you know it's never going to show up like that but when it's alone it's gonna go and deal with its feelings you know it's so these cards um okay he's having fun so <laughs> um we got mentathon which speaks of longing for home right um belonging the original light worker so this basically talks about Knowing that home is where we make it, feeling good within ourselves is it is our responsibility, it's our duty. Like we have to be the ones to go within and recognize that we are worthy and that it of being seen, of being ourselves, you know, and really just taking the time to make home where it is that we are, you know, and really in, enjoying life by making it enjoyable we it it's not just gonna things don't just fall in our lap you know it is about really recognizing and understanding that we are valuable that we are worthy that we are worth it you know and tapping into that so this is all about our perception this is the seer and it is about recognizing that we are all connected to one another. And this kind of brings us out of this space of comparison um, or feeling like that someone is better than the other, in a sense. Okay. All right. So um, this is asking us to not be blindsided by, by false perceptions, you know, to recognize that um, you need some help. All right. Okay. It's asking us to not have a... Okay, so possibly we've been very shallow in what it is that... How we've been perceiving things. And this has been stopping us from really attaining a feeling like we're at home, right? Because if you were very focused on... Leo can be very shallow. It's, it's very focused on self-image. And everything like that but it in turn when leo raises his vibration when it does the shadow work when it does the self work it realizes that the beauty resides from within right so anything that has been manifested outside of ourselves is because something that's going on within that we need to take stock of you know so in this this shallow viewpoint may have us missing the point right so then we have the sun card so this is about our will what are we actively choosing to do are we going to go within and are we going to see what is going on inside of ourselves what how are these things connected that is what the, the seer also speaks about the connections the signs the symbols the synchronicities what has been going on in life and how has this been what what has this been reflecting from outside of us how how is it that we have been picking up these perceptions these points of views and allowing this to manifest and becoming our truth and becoming who it is that we choose to show up as because and and this has us missing 
the point has us missing that the home is where we make it. We feel good in ourselves because we choose to, not because someone else says it's okay, you know? Okay, sorry, y'all. Bashar's just having a grand old time, so I had to pause for a second. <laughs> so, um, this is really a time that we need to take to, at least this is what I'm getting from this. Now we need to take a time, take time to do the healing that needs to happen in order for us to tap into that inner inner confidence. There may be something. So we may need to take time um, and see what is going on within, especially when it comes in regards to our solar plexus energy. Um, there may be some healing that needs to take place. Um, when it comes to how it is that, like, what it is that we think we know, what the things it is that we've picked up along the way through influence of our family, you know, that may be what this has a lot to do with in when it comes to what blockages it is that we have built up in regards to being confident and moving through because, okay, the, the moon will be in an aspect to Mars and Mars is a depressive energy not depressive in a sense of suppression, but when it's not able to really express itself, really confident and lively and fiery and passionate that it is, it brings about depression, right? And so the the aspect, it's the moon is in an in conjunction, right? So that means that this, this energy has not been activated, that it means that the, the active aspect of this energy is being asked for us to bring it forth so that we can cultivate this um creative beautiful sense of self you know um that we can build these same relationships and allow others to feel the warmth of this and it to cover them and inspire them right because leo inspires so um what else did i want to say about this Taking some time to do some introspection over these next two days will be very will serve us greatly in being able to further express ourselves, tapping into that inner child energy and allowing the healing to take place. Maybe you maybe connecting with a healer, maybe connecting with someone who can help you when it comes to how it your mind. So, so a counselor, a therapist, um, even just a facilitator who can help walk you through things that can help you move through past um, feelings and emotions and thought forms that have the emotions that have created these thought forms that um, have kind of been tied to, you know, this may also have a lot to do. This has a lot to do with family and things that is that we have picked up along the way <clears throat> that have stopped us from being able to see the bigger picture that have kind of created this shallow space that we're in and seeing things from a very material standpoint and not being able to see things from a higher perspective. See how all things are connected, seeing how what we pass down to our, our, our siblings, our, our our children and how, what it is that we've attained from our elders and how this has cultivated within ourselves. You know, we are now in this age where everything of the higher mind is very accessible to us, right? So um, this is going to start coming, becoming a very, a constant theme, astrology, divination, like this, these things are coming to the forefront. They are coming to um, what is the word? They becoming uh everyday life for us on a mass scale, you know. So these are things that we're gonna start feeling comfortable turning to in order to recognize what it is that is really going on with us because we're coming to this space where we're elevating in our vibration collectively, and if we continue to ignore how it is that we're feeling. It's, it's just going to keep projecting realities and manifesting realities that aren't as ideal, don't feel as good, aren't as enjoyable, that always feel like we have a need to escape from, that we're always finding things that we need to run away and supplement the healing through through escapism, going out to have this fun and then coming back and still being like, well, damn, like... 
still not feeling good. I need another vacation. And it's just like, all right, let's stop. Let's let's when we will we when will we take the time to see ourselves so that we can stop feeling like we need to escape from life? When will life become great for us? When will it, when will it become grand, Leo? When we when will we begin to find the inspiration within ourselves so that we can share that light, so that we can be a light, so that we can feel the light and feel at home within ourselves, you know? So it all starts with us. It all starts with the effort to tap in, to go within, to change our minds, to release, to let go of things that we've been holding on to that have just not been giving us what it is that it's that we're that we truly value you know it's really time for us to tap into our own personal values uranus and taurus a shift a change is things things are coming to an end to heighten to liven to become lighter so that we can release the heaviness that have has really been weighing on us on a collective scale and to be able to support another in doing the same so I hope that this stellar rhythm has been helpful. I hope that it has been insightful. I hope that it inspires you to get some, find some clarity for yourself. And I hope that it gave you any confirmation that you're already on the right path if you already are. So love you guys very much. Thank you so much for being here again. And I will see you all on the 9th, which I think is Saturday. No, that is not Saturday. When is the 9th? I think it's Monday. All right, y'all. I'm gone. Bye.